So let's say you've got the itch and you think you might be pretty good at road racing. But video games and expressway ramps can only deliver so many thrills. So how do you put yourself behind the wheel of a real racing car with the opportunity to show what you can do on the track? Well, one great place to start is with the Sports Car Club of America, a place where many of the legendary members of the Road Racing Drivers Club got their start. Probably the best place to start really is autocross. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't get a ton of seat time, but the seat time that you get is so intense and the skill set that you build, learning a new track, learning how to read a course, learning how to control your car, will transfer over for not just every area of life, driving on the street, but also here at the racetrack. The best way to get started is um, go to one of the professional schools for like a, a three-day school or something like that and, and get your SCCA uh, novice permit. Try out a couple solo events and slowly work your way up and go check out a couple regional races or go to a couple majors events and get a feel for it before you jump all the way into the water and yeah. buy a car or you could build a car. It all depends on figure out what you like and where you want to be. With over 40,000 members, the SCCA holds more than 2,000 events throughout the USA. Everything from autocrossing to off-road rally driving to wheel-to-wheel -wheel competition on some of the most challenging racing circuits in North America. You get the whole gamut. I mean, you get the guys out there with $150,000 race cars and you've got the weekend warrior on a budget racing a Formula V that he's been running the same chassis for God, you know, 15, 20 years almost. And it, I think when you can have any kind of sport that lets people from such divergent backgrounds come together, you know, it's really a great thing. And that's the great thing about ACCA. You can almost find an event every weekend and go run and play. My dad grew up racing Corvettes back in the GT1 days. And then from there, we started with A-Sedans. They raced a SSGT back in the IMSA days and then kind of gradually moved into the big V8s for us. And, uh, can't get away from them. The class that I race in, Formula 500, it's, it's an affordable class. It's the best bang for your buck. We're just as fast, or if not faster, in some tracks and Formula Fords. Um, I did my research and I chatted to a few of the driver coaches that I had in the early days. And I asked where I'd get the most experience. And a lot of them pointed me in the Miata class. But there were quite a few organizations in which you could run Miatas. But if you looked at the depth of talent that was in Spec Miata within the SCCA, it was it was head and shoulders above any other organization. The SCCA is the biggest organization with the highest level of competition and the biggest fields. And that's where I ended up. That's People are not afraid to help each other here. Even if you're getting your butt kicked by the first or second place guy, they're always going to want to help you and you're always going to feel comfortable asking them. You know, we all help him or her, you know, get their car back together so they can get out there for the next session because we'd rather race with them than have them sit on the side. It's not like they want to see you slower, they want the competition as well, so they're always grateful to add a helping hand and it's, it's a good experience. You race with people for years and they move into different classes and you're still good friends with them. You see them every race weekend, so it, it's a huge part of it. I mean, the workers, they're all volunteers, so they show up every, you know, every weekend there's a race weekend, so all the guys in white aren't being paid to be here, they're, they're here because they love it. This is the best seat in the house. Next to being in a car, you can't find a better place to be than on a corner. You don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of money to, to go fast, or even, I think probably even more importantly have a good racing experience because there are classes, especially in the SCCA, where you can have a lower cost car. I love the fact that I'm up front and I don't have an eighth of the budget of a lot of these guys. I wanted something that if I knocked the corner off, I could fix it myself. I'm my own pit crew and all these guys around me. You know, if something goes wrong, we all help each other out. Um, when I started this, I knew how to put gas in a car and check the oil and that's it. Well, we do everything on the car ourselves. My dad's pretty adamant about having us know what's going on with the car so we can fix any situation. It also is good feedback when you're in the car to know what happens. So I would say pretty much every weekend we're not at the track, we're doing some sort of project. If it's not rebuilding an engine or kind of making a new, new A sedan or something like that, it's pretty much every other weekend and then coming up to the races, I go, go to work, come home from work, go straight down to the shop and get my car ready. I have nothing but admiration for these guys that show up with a car and a trailer and four tires on the trailer and they do all the car prep themselves, they drive down to the, to the grid themselves, they take care of themselves. I have nothing but admiration. At this stage in my life, having done this in motorbikes, I'm really an arrive and drive guy. My view on racing is if you're not willing to make it your life, you're not gonna make it a career. But the SCCA is perfect for 
the guy who just wants to get into racing and have some fun and go out there and socialize, every single person here loves what they're doing. It doesn't matter if they're at the front of the pack or the back of the pack, they enjoy it. Maybe it's their golf, maybe it's their country club, but they're having a blast.